Hey everyone, in this series, I'll be explaining all the core concepts to building on Solana. In the last video, we learned that all Solana programs are stateless, meaning they don't store any data. Instead, everything lives in accounts. Understanding the Solana account model is fundamental to building on Solana. So what exactly is an account? Well, essentially, it's a chunk of on-chain storage. It can hold sole, store data, and define permissions. So let's take a look at what that really looks like. Here's our visual from the last video, and we left off showing that Solana programs store the program state in accounts. And programs can only modify accounts that have been passed into the instruction that the program is executing. So you have all of these accounts, and we're going to move them over here because we're going to zoom in a bit on what they actually are. So we'll represent all of the accounts that exist on chain within this little bubble. And then each account that exists on chain has the same account type. So what does that account type look like? Well, let's write it out. So we have pub struct account. And within this data structure, we have Lamports and Lamports are a U64 type. And Lamports is just the salt balance of the account. And then we have the owner and it's, an owner is a public key type. And the owner is the account that has permission to change the data within the state and deduct Lamports from the account. And then we have the data. So the data is a VEC of U8 type. And what this is, is your custom state for the accounts. And the custom account data is serialized into an array of bytes that can then be stored into the account. So anytime you create your custom data structure for an account of the data that you wanna store, you're going to serialize it into your U8 array of bytes. And then when you need to access it in the future, you're going to deserialize it back into the actual data that you want. So now the next field is an executable. And what this is, is just a Boolean. And the executable is a field that tells the runtime whether an account holds executable code or just data. So if your executable is true, then that means the account contains a deployed Solana program, meaning it stores executable code and it can be invoked. If it's false, then it's just storing data. Typically, it's created by a program to store and manage state. So this is what your account type looks like for all of the accounts. And now we know how information is stored into an account. But how do you access this account? Well. You can think of these accounts as a public database. Um, it's like a single accounts table and each entry is an account. So let's zoom in on what that database would look like. Okay, so you can kind of think of it like a key value store. So your account is the value and then the key to be able to look up that account is going to be the address of the account. So each account has its own unique address. Now, what actually is this address? So an address, it's a 32 byte address. And let's write that out. We have a 32 byte address, and that's usually shown as a base 58 encoded string. Base 58 encoded string. So what does that actually look like? Well, here's an example of what a base 58 encoded string would look like. You've probably seen this a lot of places when you're interacting with Solana. For example, your wallet account has something that looks kind of like this um, as the address for that account. Um, so yeah, this account is going to have a base 58 encoded string type as your address. And now what is that? It can be one of two things. So 
One thing it could be is your ED25519 public key. And what this means is this address falls on the ED25519 curve, meaning it has a corresponding private key. Now, it could also be another thing. And that other thing is going to be a program derived address. So a program derived address is also known as a PDA, which we're going to dive into exactly what PDAs are in another video within this series of Solana Core concepts. But just a quick overview of what a program derived address is. It's essentially an address that falls off the ED25519 curve, meaning that it doesn't have a corresponding private key. Um, so overall, your base 58 encoded string, that is your 32 byte address, is going to be one of two types, your ED25519 public key or your program derived address. So let's zoom out a little bit and see what we've gone over. We have our accounts and they're essentially your public database. That's a key value pair between your account and the key being the unique address that corresponds to the account. Every account has the same account type, which includes all of this information we went over. And the address is going to be one of two types, your ED25519 public key or a PDA. Now, one other thing to understand about accounts is that to be able to store data on chain, accounts must also keep a LAN port balance that is proportional to the amount of data stored in the account in bytes. So this balance is called rent and it works more like a deposit because once the account is closed, you can then recover the full balance that you have paid in rent. That's a quick overview of the Solana account model. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and i will link videos to the rest of the solana development core concepts videos and also a video for writing some code for creating and interacting with accounts on chain